I'm Joe Taylor and today I have with me Rod Barra, our product specialist. And we're going to be introducing to you our new 14 inch deluxe bandsaw. Rod, why don't you tell us about all these new great features that we have on our new model. Oh, awesome Joe, this is a, a great addition to the new line. Three patented pending features. Excellent. First off, toolless spring loaded guide bearing system. Wow, that's, pre that's pretty cool. So how does that work? Basically, one hand operation. Loosen the center screw, release, bring forward, tighten, and that is it. And that's it. So there's no more need for wrenches or anything like that. That's a great feature. And that feature is both on the top and bottom. So that's when correct. You're setting your blades. Absolutely. Wow, that's great. Excellent. What else can you tell me about the new saw? The new fence? New you fence. New fence Absolutely. New fence, six inch tall resaw fence. Uh, resaw bar is provided. Uh, but we've now included a patented pending. Um, drift fence system within the body of the fence. Simply loosen the fence system, slide it to where you want it. To adjust for drift, loosen the star knob down below and just move your angle back and forth to manipulate your drift, drift angle. Wow, so that pivots that back and forth, so now there's no, there's no more need to adjust the two pins on the front. Not at all. Of the rail. Not at all. Oh, wow, that's great. And I noticed that the rail's longer too now. Yeah, so now you can take your fence and slide it over to the right side of yep. the blade. So you can saw on the 45 and have the work supported without it sliding off the table. And excess, and I can remove the hardware and flip that around. So I'll have Absolutely. That Very adjustment. simple to do. Yep. Wow, that's great. Um, I also noticed that we have a new, a new motor designed yes. by Rikon. Designed by Rikon. A Rikon first with our own logo on it. It's a one and three quarter horsepower motor. And let me tell you something. It is stout and it will cut through anything. Oh, that's great. That's great. Um, so from top to bottom, some other new features that we had um, in it. Can we go over some of those? Absolutely. We have now a quick release system for our table trunnion. Now the table trunnion has been redesigned to a full cast system. So for people that are doing heavy work, say bull turners that want to turn big projects and pre-round them, you can sit them right here on this table. It won't move. Just simply loosen this one handle crank system and you can move the table into any position you want. Wow, and I noticed that's big head, that's all cast iron now versus the previous yes, models and if which you, were cast aluminum. Absolutely. Now, if you also look at the, the underside of the table, mm -hmm. we have extra ribbing to support those extra workloads for people that want to put heavier pieces on top. Wow, that's great. So no table deflection on top. Excellent. So you just sit that back into 90, lock it in place. Just lock it, set it, and forget it. Wow, that's great. That's awesome. Um, what else can you tell me about it? Well, like our other band saws, we offer two speeds. Mm -hmm. So this saw will cut at 2950 surface feet per minute and 1445. So now why the lowest speed? Lowest speed you can incorporate non-ferrous metals, plastics, composites, foam, whatever, any other medium that you want into your work pieces. Excellent, excellent. And, and the cutting capacity? 13. This unit? It's lucky 13. 13 lucky inches. 13. That's Absolutely. One the, that's one of the largest in the industry. Is Absolutely. In class, in the 14 inch band Without saws. a doubt. And it's all control rack and pinion height. Oh, and I noticed that we, we, we now have a scale on the side. Absolutely. So you have 13 inch scale on the side to give, give you a good reference as to what your cutting height is. Oh, wow. That's great. But the features don't stop there in the attention to detail. Yep. As you open the door, you can see the guard system is nice and yellow. Mm -hmm. Blue paint on the cast iron spoked wheels. Yellow rubber tires. And a nice, easy to read blade tension indicator. Oh wow, that's great. And I noticed we have a stability bar now for our guide post that goes on the top. Right, it just keeps the guide post assembly in line with the travel of the blade. Mm -hmm. And also for reference, we also have some how-tos on cutting radiuses, blade selection, and how to select a blade, as well as a quick link to a video into our homepage with this QR code for additional information. Oh, so if I scan that code, I'll be able to pull up application videos, blade tracking videos, maintenance videos, etc. Accessories, whatever you want for whatever the saw. You want for the saw. Absolutely. This is a great reference to have too. Oh, absolutely. Saw, especially when you're selecting a blade for a different kind of cuts. Everything's right there at, at hand's reach. Oh, that's great. And I noticed we have a new switch as well. We have a new switch, exactly right. So we have a simple on-off system, easy to reach paddle, and you have the ability to do a lockout bar on the backside uh, so you can lock it out for unintended use. And I noticed also that um, our existing mobility kit, kit will adapt to this one, so there's no need for, you know... Absolutely. Our current 13-325 uh, mobility kit will bolt right up to this saw. And how does, it, how does the mobility kit work? you have the tow bar handle? Absolutely. If I go out of frame for one second, 
and I come right back like magic. We have a tow bar system uh -huh. with two wheels. Just simply hook it underneath, pull it, and walk away. Let's flip that around to the other side. Wait one second. This will give you a quick little 3D view of the saw. We see the back side. Uh -huh. Now on the back side of the unit, you can see the new stout Rikon design motor. You get a really good view of the trunnion system that we have there. Right, and the new quick release lever with the turning handle for your angle adjustment. And we also now provide, as I take this back out of the shot, 110 volt storage, or, or actually a 110 volt receptacle, so you can put a light or any other accessory. All the different accessory lights you could plug on there. Absolutely. If you want and have light. And it's right there at, at, at hand's reach. Wow, that's great. This looks like a great new tool. And I noticed too that we've uh, we changed our dust port system. Right. The dust port now has a screen system as opposed to a half blocking plate. So now you have um, a greater flow and higher, and higher CFM rate for dust collection. Oh, that's great. Let me flip this around the other way and we can show the bottom of it. Right? Okay, let's open this bottom door here and see. Oh, wow, yeah, I see that new grate system. Yeah, so it, with a nice dust collection system around 650 CFM minimum, mm -hmm. you should be able to take up a lot of dust and debris right into that port. And now with the door also open, you can see our two-speed system. So we have two uh, belt positions. I'll just move that out of the way. And you can see one and two. So you can get it to the low speed. And we have a nice, durable rib belt design. Not a V-belt. We find the rib belts dissipate vibration. Great for band sauce. That's great. And it's easy to change. It's easy to change your belt. Yeah, go ahead and crank that. Yeah, crank that I handle there. Loosen that up. That loosens up the tension. And then I could change the pulley to my desired Sim speed. Same as a serpentine belt system on your automobile. Yep. It, that tensioner just comes off. And just move the position. Back in place. That's correct. Make sure that's nice and tight yep. before we start it up for the operation. Yep, wheel brush, so you can keep your uh, tires nice and clean to keep the dust out from behind the blade and the the wheel tire itself. Yep, and like the talk we talked about, the new, the new patented um, spring-loaded guide system that's also here on the bottom. Absolutely. So if I loosen these up, I know Spring-loaded, right, you loosen them up and they back away. And I could actually take this with one hand. I don't know if you could see that shot, but I could actually... Squeeze that in to set it to the blade, lock both of them in place, and I'm done. Your side guides and are I'm done. off and running. That's simple. Wow, that's great. That's excellent. And we also still have storage on the bottom. That's right. So you have extra blades or other types of tool storage. Mm -hmm. it's, it's handy right there, ready to get to use. Yep. Wow. This is a great looking saw. You know what I'm impressed about, too, is, this, is the thickness of this aluminum fence. Right, because we find that the, the taller the aluminum goes in manufacturing, mm -hmm. sometimes the fences go out of square and, and lean back. Mm -hmm. So we have extra honeycomb ribbing inside this fence and a nice channel up top to prevent that warping and lean back. Oh, well, and I noticed that this has two positions. So if we wanted to set this in two positions for the lower side, I could take the, this resar bar off. Right? Absolutely. All right, so let me just quickly take this off. Move this aside for one second. Right, so we'll loosen this knob here. Simply side that away and then bring it back again. So now you can cut on the low profile for thin material. Oh, and that's nice because that stays nice and close and flat to the table. Absolutely. Again, you see that, that, that ribbing that we have for support is now a small fence for height right here on the low profile. Wow, that's excellent. And like you mentioned earlier, you can remove this hardware and put it on the right side without having to change in the position of the rail. That's correct. That's why this long, stout rail um, is sturdy out to here to support the weight um, of any work going out to that side. And I noticed that the rail is etched. It is etched, absolutely. So you have your scale built right in. No need for stick-on tapes uh, for them to come off or, or get uh, ruined. Wow. That's also, with the, another great thing, mm -hmm. safety. Yep. What's the one thing? push sticks. You, need, you yeah. need push sticks. So it's yep. right there, right here at your hand. Well, Hands reach, ready to go. That's great. That's great. You think we could plug it in, listen to it, see how smooth it sounds? Absolutely. All right. Great. All right. So Rod, right, we're going to turn this on, but we're going to do the good old nickel test, right? To I see if this love, bounces. It's not a, it, 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 this isn't a bad nickel or a fixed nickel, right? You got all nice round. It looks more like six cents to me. Six cents. All right. So let's put this on the saw, see if we can get it to stand up, which we got. Turn that on.
Wow, that's smooth running, huh? That there's literally no vibration coming off of that saw. And the J-belt helps it along. So, Rod, it looks like this is going to be a winner for us. I'm definitely going to have one in my shop. All right, great. So, for additional information, please visit RikonTools.com or give us a call at 877-884-5167.